Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the wheel on our Razer E300. This is a relatively easy procedure. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A 10 millimeter open end wrench. Two eight millimeter open end wrenches. And two 16 millimeter open end wrenches. This can be completed in four easy steps. Step one. Remove the chain guard and disconnect the brake cable. Step two, remove the wheel. Step three, install your new wheel. And step four, reconnect the brake cable and install your chain guard. As with working on any electric product, always make sure to turn off the power before you begin. Now let's get started on step one, removing our chain guard and disconnecting our brake cable. First, let's remove our chain guard. There are three Phillips screws we need to remove. So take your Phillips screwdriver, and remove those screws. Once all three screws are out, lift the chain guard off and set it aside for later. Now let's disconnect our brake cable. We'll start by removing the nut that's securing the brake cable with our 10 millimeter open end wrench. Slide the nut and washer off. Pull the spring back. Slide the bolt out. And I like to put the nut and washer back on the bolt so we don't lose it. Now we can disconnect the brake anchor with our two 8mm open end wrenches. There's a bolt on the outside, nut on the inside. Secure the nut on the inside with one wrench while loosening with the other. Once you have the nut off, you can slide off the brake anchor and then slide the bolt out, but be careful because there's a washer on the inside you don't want to lose. And set your bolt, nut, and washers aside for later. And that concludes step one, disconnecting our brake cable and removing our chain guard. Now into step two, removing the wheel. Take your two 16 millimeter open end wrenches, stick one on each side of the axle, and loosen it up. Once you have it nice and loose, pull the wheel straight up, and pull the chain off of the sprocket. And now your wheel is out of your scooter. And that concludes step two, removing your wheel. And now on to step three, installing your new wheel. Start by putting the chain over the sprocket. Next, slide the axle into the slots on the frame. On the brake side, keep a washer on the inside while keeping the lock washer and other washer on the outside. And on the chain side, keep the spacer and the D-ring on the inside and keeping the washer and lock washer on the outside. Once it's in, tighten the nuts. Now take your two 16 millimeter open end wrenches, stick one on one side, one on the other, and tighten the axle down. Hold it with one side and tighten the other. And that concludes step three, installing your new wheel. Now on to step four, reinstalling your chain guard and reconnecting your brake cable. Let's start by reconnecting the brake anchor. Take your nut washers and bolts, we gotta put one washer in between the brake and the frame. Slide it in there and hold it with the bolt. The bolt goes through the brake and then through the hole on the brake anchor. And stick the nut on the other side. Now take your two eight millimeter open end wrenches and tighten the bolt and nut down. One wrench on the outside, one wrench on the inside and tighten. Once that's nice and tight, we can secure the brake cable to the brake actuator. Take the nut off with the washer. Pull the spring back and put it on the hook on the actuator. Slide the bolt through the hole in the actuator. And put the washer and nut on the bolts. Get it about hand tight and then we can adjust it and tighten it down all the way. 
hold the cable and pull the actuator as far as you can go and tighten that nut all the way down. Now test the brake and make sure it's tightened properly. If it's not, loosen the nut back up, pull the cable tighter and secure it down. Now let's reinstall our chain cover. Set it over the chain and line up the holes. Take your Phillips screwdriver and secure the cover down. The cover is now secure and that concludes step four, reinstalling our brake cable and chain cover. Now turn on the power and make sure everything works. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, but if you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. Gotta go, Buffalo.